Hey guys, Wesley here back with another video and today we're installing this and I'm very excited about it. It's 20 millimeter spacers on my car because my car is pretty much like the wheels looked so tucked in. So we're going to install these and see what happens. But first, um, the car is way too low to get it even on the stock jack. Um, so we're going to use that little ramp that I made at home. Um, a little ramp right there that I made at home and try to get it up a little bit more up so we can jack it up. So let's uh, get it onto the ramp. So pretty much you guys can't really tell in the videos how low the car is, but um, right now it's even lifted on the other side, but as you can see, um, I've measured it from right here, it's about 2 inches, um, from the front lift too, it's about like 1.5 inches to, to the ground, so the car is like really, really low, um, you guys can't really tell what it is, and uh, the mission was successful, we did get it on the little ramp, and pretty much what we're going to do now is just jack it up. So we broke the lug nuts off of this and now we're going to jack it up. So what happened was, uh, we didn't show you guys because we were just uh, like worried about it. The jack that we had in the front started like bending a little bit so what we did was jack it back down and now we have two jacks um, and hopefully that will help and that will uh, get the car up. Um, we are getting a hydro jack soon but today we don't have it so we're just going to use these. So we're also making adjustments to the coilover. We're going to raise it up um, another half an inch because it is uh, just like not good the, the how low it is right now. Just pick it up a little bit so we can actually uh, like drive and be comfortable with how low it is. So we raised it up um, an inch so it's now an inch on the coilover. We're going to do the same to the other side but now comes the spacer. So we'll pretty much time lapse the spacer. So uh, with the 20 millimeter spacers, um, we went ahead and got the extended lug nuts too because we're not about to run spacers without extended lug nuts. So make sure if you do are running spacers to get the extended lug nuts because it's very, very important. Flush the space, it looks great. Um, and we're just gonna lower it and see, uh, see the fitment. You have to check if it rubs too, but hopefully, it doesn't. Hopefully, it's just perfect. Oh, yeah. This looks really, really good. It hasn't even settled in. Um, as you see, there's a little gap now, just a little bit. Um, I don't think it's gonna rub, um, but it does have to settle. But man, I'm liking this spacer. It looks great. So now what we're gonna do is adjust uh, the back coil over. And I'll get to you uh, when we adjust it back up and when we put the spacer on. So what ended up happening is we couldn't adjust it inside, so we literally just decided to take the shock out uh, and then just take the spring out, the whole thing out, the whole coil over, and we're just going to adjust it manually because we couldn't figure out how to do it while it was on the car. So yeah. Hopefully 
it's not too hot. Uh, so, the filament is great right here. It's really flush. Um, but yeah, um, we have to see it settled um, and see what it looks like to make sure it's not too big of a gap. But yeah. Alright, so the goal with uh, lifting it up was not for it to look good any better. It was pretty much for it to pass these speed bumps going into my neighborhood. Um, so let's see if I can pass them without scraping, hopefully. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice, easy, no scrapage. Let's see the second one. We used to always scrape on this one. And it's barely any higher. Oh, a little bit of scrapage, but it's so good compared to before. Oh my God, this is so much better. Uh, we could like barely get over those speed bumps before. And we only raised it half an inch and it looks pretty much as low as it was. Like it doesn't look, it looks a little bit higher, but like it looks still looks low. So I'm, this is like our goal. I'm so happy right now. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to say that.